Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, we will deeply study what is primary current, secondary current and CT ratio of a current transformer. Here you can see that the CT ratio is given as 2500 by 5 ampere. Here also you can see that the CT ratio is given as 50 by 5 ampere. So in this video, we will deeply cover what is CT ratio or current transformer ratio. In my previous current transformer series video, I already discussed about why we need current transformer what is current transformer and what is the working operation and principle of current transformer. So let's start this video. In the current transformer, you will find many details available. We will discuss each of them deeply to better understand the full nameplate detail of current transformer. The first thing which you will find on the current transformer nameplate is the CT ratio or primary current or secondary current. Let's try to understand deeply what is CT ratio what is primary and secondary current detail given on the CT? As I told you, CT have only the secondary winding and the primary winding of the CT is that conductor whose current is need to be measured. So this is our CT and this is the conductor which is passing through the window of the CT. Here we have some secondary windings on the core of the CT and this is our terminal of the CT that is S1 and S2. So here the primary winding turn is 1 because there is a only number one conductor is there and suppose this turns in the secondary winding is 100. So what is the ratio of turns in primary winding and secondary winding? That is primary winding turns divided by secondary winding turns is equal to 1 by 100. As I told in my previous video that the current transformer and the power transformer principle working principle is same. So what we have learned from the power transformer that the ratio of the primary winding and the winding ratio of the secondary winding is equal to the voltage in the primary winding divided by voltage in the secondary winding is equal to the current in the secondary winding and to the current in the primary winding. This relation we got from the power transformer as the current transformer is also working on the same principle so it will follow the same ratio so what we derive here what we discuss here that the number of turns in the primary winding is only one conductor and the number of turns in the secondary winding of the current transformer is 100 so NP by NS is equal to 1 by 100 and we can say that NP by NS is equal to IS current in the secondary winding divided by current in the primary winding from here we can conclude that when there is a 100 ampere of current is flowing through the primary winding that is the single conductor then there will be a 1 ampere of current in the secondary winding or in another word we can say that this CT is stepping down the primary current to 100 times in his secondary winding. Why I am saying like this? Because whenever there is a 100 ampere of current is flowing through the primary winding this current transformer is stepping down this primary current in his secondary winding as 1 ampere. So there is 100 time reduction of the secondary current compared to primary current. So what is CT ratio? Let's back to our topic. CT ratio is the ratio of primary current divided by secondary current. So here we can say that this CT has a ratio of 100 by 1. Why? Because whenever there is a 100 ampere of current flowing through the primary winding which is nothing but a conductor whose current need to be major then there is a 1 ampere of current is flowing through the secondary winding. So this CT will be having the CT ratio as 100 by 1. But suppose this time now only 50 ampere current is flowing through the primary winding then there will be only 0.5 ampere of current will flow through the secondary winding. Then what would be the CT ratio again? That the primary current that is 50 ampere divided by secondary current which is 0.5 ampere. Again if you will observe that there is a 100 time reduction of the primary current in the secondary winding because whenever the current is 50 ampere due to the stepping down of the current the current in the secondary winding is 0.5 ampere which is 100 time lower than the primary current. So always if suppose if the current is 25 ampere flowing through the primary winding then the current will be in the secondary winding 0.25. 
0.25 again if you will take the ratio of 25 by 0.25 then again you will find the reduction of 100 times so here ct ratio express that how many times the reduction will occur in the secondary winding current compared to the primary winding current so suppose if you find any ct ratio as ct ratio as 500 by 1 then you can say that when there is a 500 ampere of current flowing through the primary winding then there will be 1 ampere current in the secondary winding and the relation will be linear what does mean by linear relationship let me explain this one suppose if any ct we have which have the ct ratio 500 by 1 then when there will be a 500 ampere current flowing through the primary conductor then there will be only 1 ampere will flow in the secondary current secondary current okay and when there is a 250 ampere is current flowing through the primary winding then there is only 0.5 ampere current will flow through the secondary winding in same manner if there will be 125 ampere is current is flowing through the primary winding then there will be only 0.25 ampere current will flow through the secondary winding okay so in every time if you will notice that 500 by 1 there will be 500 times reduction in the secondary current compared to primary current in every case you will find there is a reduction in the secondary winding secondary current is 500 times why if you will divide 250 by 0.5 you will get 500 if you will divide 125 ampere to 0.25 ampere again you will get the 500 times so here so here you will find the linear relationship between the primary current and the secondary current and that linear relationship is the CTE ratio. Why? I am telling like this because every time the reduction of the secondary current is 500 times compared to the primary current. Now let us take an another CT ratio 100 by 5. Before I took the CT ratio 100 by 1 ampere but this time I am taking the CT ratio 100 by 5 ampere. The concept is same which I explained you. It means whenever there is a 100 ampere current is flowing through the primary winding then the secondary winding will have the current of 5 ampere. And suppose if the current in the primary winding is 50 ampere then the current in the secondary winding will be 2.5 ampere. So how much time is the deduction? When the current was 100 ampere in the primary winding okay then the current in the secondary winding is 5 ampere okay fine when the current in the primary winding is 50 ampere then the current in the secondary winding will be 2.5 ampere if the current in the primary winding will be 25 ampere then the current in the secondary winding will be 1.25 ampere here how much time reduction is happening how much time is happening we can divide it 100 by 5 it means 20 times if you will observe every time there is a reduction in the secondary current 20 times compared to the primary currents in this case also 20 time reduction in this case also 20 time reduction in this case also 20 time reduction so don't be confused if the secondary winding current is expressed in 5 ampere I told you I explained before the CT ratio as 100 by 1 to build the concept now let us check what is the CT ratio of this current transformer this current transformer and this current transformer here you can see that the ratio is written as 2500 by 5 ampere in this CT you will find the CT ratio as 200 by 5 ampere in this CT you will have the ratio as 550 by 5 here may be one question arises in your mind that why we are expressing the CT ratio as 2500 ampere divided by 5 ampere we can say it like a 500 because if we will divide this 5 with 2500 then it will come as 500 so we can say the CT ratio CTR as 500 but with this data we cannot analyze that what would be the primary current and what would be the secondary current if the CTR is expressed as 500 then if someone place this CT in a conductor where the current is flowing as 5000 ampere because we don't have information for the primary current and someone put the CT in the conductor where the current is flowing as 5000 ampere then the CT will burn out why because the maximum current rating for this CT is 2500 ampere only 
so by expressing the ct in primary current and secondary current it is also giving an information that the maximum primary current allowed for this ct is 2500 ampere i hope you clearly understand what is ct ratio and what is the importance of ct ratio i am making video on ct so stay tuned and watch my playlist on ct current transformer to have more idea and more informations related to the current transformer we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much